monsters from the Tomorrow War, known as the White Spikes, were to go up against the monsters from a quiet place, known as the Death Angels. <laughs> To see how these monsters would fare against each other, let's do a quick recap on the monsters. The Quiet Place monsters, aka the Death Angels, are a hostile race of aliens who arrived on Earth via a meteorite and basically killed off as much life on Earth as they could. Their body plan is humanoid, and the entirety of their bodies are covered by many plates of chitinous armor. They have very long arms and a stature like that of a bat, and on the tips of their legs they have prehensile digits like fingers or toes, and they mostly use these limbs for locomotion, for defense, and for attacking. Although they have very sharp teeth, they don't seem to use their teeth for anything else but to emit noise. These creatures hunt by sound and are totally blind. They have very sensitive plates lining the front of their faces that can extend and contract to help them gauge the direction of where sound is coming from, much like dogs and cats do with their ears. In the back of their heads, they have the ability to unfold a piece of their body to expose a gigantic eardrum-like organ that allows them to hear even better and to detect even subtle changes in sound or air vibrations. Once this part is open, they are extremely vulnerable as it exposes the soft parts inside their body. The Quiet Place monsters seem reactionary. We don't see them communicating with one another or solving problems just on the fly, but they are intelligent when it comes to hunting their prey, and they know how to get inside of places to get at their prey. Their weakness is that they're blind. This is why they rely so much on their hearing. They sink in water. It's not yet clear if they're drowning. Probably not since they don't need to breathe since they came in on a freaking meteor and were drift in space for a while, but they can stay underwater for long periods of time, they just can't move around in the water as their armor is very heavy and thick. These monsters can run very fast, however they don't have the ability to fly, thank goodness. Some of the greatest strengths of these monsters is that they cannot be killed with fire. As a matter of fact, the monsters are immune to it. They can climb almost any surface and can rip through metal and hard surfaces. They don't seem to get tired, they're extremely strong, they're very, very stealthy, and they have the ability to run very fast. They can also leap very high and will stop at nothing to get to what they want. Now this was the Quiet Place monsters, and I love the design of these monsters. The other thing to know is that the Quiet Place monsters cannot be killed by bullets and supposedly bombs. We're made to believe that their heads have to be open for them to be vulnerable to any attack. Now let's talk about the White Spikes from the Tomorrow War. The White Spikes are an extraterrestrial predatory and hostile species. They're hexapodal creatures that hunt in packs, are very stealthy, highly territorial and aggressive, and fiercely intelligent. Like the Quiet Place monsters, they're very nimble and have the ability to climb in almost any direction, albeit these monsters are a lot faster, quicker, and more agile than the Quiet Place monsters. They predominantly hunt in packs and are about the size of an adult thoroughbred horse. The body plan for these creatures is that they're hexapodal, with four true legs on the front side, near to the middle side of their body, and on the back side of their body. The leg that's all the way at the back, or the hind leg, is extremely long and powerful, and facilitates them leaping very high and propelling them forward very fast, at possible speeds to about 70 to 80 miles per hour. On the top parts of their bodies, they have spiky protrusions, and from the top parts of their heads, all the way to their backs are completely armored. Their weakness lies on the underside of their bodies, starting from under the head and neck towards the abdomen. Their jaws are very powerful, able to easily crunch through bone. Their teeth are very sharp and are not really used for chewing, but more so for grabbing onto prey so that they cannot let go. They also have a spiky protrusion on the end of their nose. This is probably for breaking through areas or for piercing through flesh and for defense as well. On the very front of their bodies, like a praying mantis or cockroaches, they have a pair of claws or arms. These front legs or arms are modified to function like claws to be able to grab at things and to protect their eyes and face whenever they're under attack. As you can see here, here. The creatures have the ability to stick to surfaces. I was wondering what this was like, that maybe they were just using their tentacles to hang on to stuff, but I've seen them straight up climb up vertical surfaces that are smooth and not leave marks. And there's proof of this, as you can see near the end of the movie, when the hordes are climbing up a vertical substance. 
we've seen them stick to walls as well. So I don't know how is it with their weight they're able to do that, but clearly they have either a very sticky substance that's able to support their weight, or being that they're creatures from another planet, they have some sort of method that we're not familiar with on Earth to be able to climb up smooth surfaces and have anywhere possible be completely accessible to them. These creatures are white in color and do have the ability to see very well in the daytime and in the dark. They have two long appendages on their back, right over their front set of legs behind the arms on their chest. These are said to be tentacles. The tentacles are used as offense. Not only do these creatures use their tentacles to shoot out a spike-like structure that seems to be calcified or made of bone or chitin, but they can also use their tentacles to grab things, throw things, to climb, smash things, and they basically function like arms. Arms that seem to function like bullets or guns, having the capability to shoot at their targets from afar. These creatures are good with ranged attacks and with close attacks. They're also extremely intelligent. They're able to communicate with each other and give orders. They're very aggressive and adamant, and they will not stop until their target is destroyed. Their blood is green, and they seem to have a very quick metabolism, making them hungry all the time and constantly awake. The smaller version of the creatures are said to be males, and they function like a termite society, where there are many males and rarer females. The females of the white spike species are much stronger, bigger, more aggressive, and even more intelligent than her drones. She also seems to be more vindictive, having a lot of human traits as well. The white spikes have a very integral and strong social structure, with the creatures not being mindless, but able to think and solve problems. When having to pursue a target that's in the air, the creatures can have a little bit more lift, able to glide for some distance to reach their target. I also believe this gliding ability aids them in not hurting themselves if they have to jump from a very high position. They also have an amazing ability to smell, and will stop at nothing until until they reach their target, even if it kills them. They do have an aversion to fire, and even though fire doesn't outright kill them if they're exposed, if they stay in the fire, it will eventually roast them into a well-done extraterrestrial turkey. And for this reason, they do not like fire. Aside from that, they're also excellent swimmers. They do not sink when they're in the water, and they move very quickly through it. Their numbers are unmatched. No matter how many of these things you kill, more of them just keep coming from every direction, and they quickly are able to surround their prey. It seems as though the female of the species emit some sort of smell, as the humans remarked that she was very smelly. Also, I was thinking, does she have the ability to teleport her males to her when she needs help? But I don't think that's the case. I think regardless of where she is, the males will always follow. Even though now I'm thinking about it, I think that they're actually females, because there's no evolutionary reason as to why there would be so many males and so few females. It would make more sense for the drones to be females, as there is added energy to continue producing sperm that most of these creatures are never going to get to use anyway. Unless the humans miss something and they breed with each other, which then, what is the point of the queen, who seems to be the only one who's ever pregnant in the movie? The one thing that really sets these aliens apart from a lot of aliens that we've seen is that they're extremely intelligent and well-coordinated. We can actually see them communicating wherever they are and no matter what they do. So, how would these creatures fare against the Quiet Place monsters? Well, I can tell you off the bat, in a one-to-one -one battle, the Quiet Place monster would win, even against the queen. The fact that these creatures have a vulnerable underbelly, and the Quiet Place monster has a body that's completely covered in armor until it has to open up its head, means that no matter what the creatures would do, they could not get inside the Quiet Place monster until it opened up its face. So the Quiet Place monster would quickly kill one of those white spikes with impressive ease. Maybe it wouldn't kill them right off the bat, the white spikes would probably attack and know to keep their heads low so that they don't suffer damage. But the Quiet Place monsters don't stop attacking until whatever that they're attacking attacking is lying still. Leave those monsters in a room long enough, the Quiet Place monster is going to come out the victor. However, like I said, these creatures are extremely intelligent. So intelligent that it makes us feel stupid. Leave a horde of Quiet Place monsters alone long enough, and the creatures will know to be stealthy. They will start to realize through observation, just like the queen alien and all of her drones, that something is up with their opponent. Their opponent does have a weakness, and they will quickly exploit that weakness. Maybe they 
couldn't make the high-pitched noise. I mean, who knows? Probably are able to emit a certain noise or frequency that we can't hear as humans. But let's say the white spikes don't figure that out. Let's say all they have is just their intelligence. They also have their numbers. Way more numbers than that of the Quiet Place monsters. They have the ability to evade, and they have a very powerful weapon. Long-ranged attacks. The Quiet Place monsters have to be up and close with whatever it is that they're attacking. They have to catch up with them. And then, if the thing is squishy enough, the Quiet Place monster will just keep attacking until it realizes that it either can't beat them or until the target is neutralized. And they do that fairly quickly with their arms and their very sharp claws. But the White Spikes, seeing the Quiet Place monsters react this way, would learn quickly to make certain subtle noises to allow the Quiet Place monsters to open up their eardrums, and then they would quickly use their projectiles from their tentacles to pick off the Quiet Place monsters, and they would make quick work of this. I think initially, the White Spikes would swarm the Quiet Place monsters, and their numbers alone would bring them down, but if you have a thousand White Spikes on one Quiet Place monster, you probably wouldn't do anything. The Quiet Place monster would at least be smart enough that when it's directly under attack, it would definitely close up itself to protect its insides. The White Spikes would understand very quickly that the Quiet Place monsters under direct attack would not be able to be killed. They would string them up or tie them up somehow like they did with the humans in the movie, or they would quickly realize that the Quiet Place monsters do have a weakness through observation. The creatures also seem to communicate through smell as well. I'm not really sure of this, but the female is able to do that until she audibly gives them an order. But I don't put it past the White Spikes learning very quickly that all they have to do is be quite enough long enough for the Quiet Place monsters to open up their heads and then they would shoot their projectiles, killing the Quiet Place monsters instantly if they make a head connection. So, to settle it, first encounter with the monsters, Quiet Place monster would win. No doubt. Long term, the White Spikes would win. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Ulturi. You ask, we answer.